to select the appropriate pump. When the, the amount of outlets is uh, maximum five outlets, normally uh, a DC pump is a good choice. A DC pump, 12 volts or 24 volts. Those pumps, those pumps uh, are uh, 24 volts or, or 12 volts. Those pumps, DC pumps, are excellent for small boats. For a medium, big, and mega yachts, the recommendation is AC pumps. AC pumps, single phase, double phase, and three phase pumps. AC pumps are excellent uh, in, for, uh, for more than five outlets, 10 outlets or more, depending on uh, the size of the boat, the amount of uh, bathrooms, uh, the amount of showers, sinks, uh, the AC pumps is, uh, is a good selection. When you uh, try to select a pump, uh, you need to identify three important factors when you select a pump. Those factors are, the first one is the flow in gallons per minute or gallons per hour. Remember that uh, you can convert gallons per minute in, into gallons per hour when you multiply or divide by 60. Remember, one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. You divide it or you multiply depending if you want to convert gallons per minute into gallons per hour. Some manufacturers, they use uh, liters per minute. It's exactly the same, you, you use convert, conversions to convert one into the other. Normally, the pressure is designed in PSI. PSI, in some manufacturers, European manufacturers, they use uh, uh, kilopascals. Uh, all right, and another uh, important uh, element is the head of the pump. Right now, I'm going to explain that concept, the concept of the head. What is the meaning of the head? And how can you calculate the head? Uh, in order to understand the head of the pumps, uh, I want to uh, introduce some nomenclature related with the freshwater pumps. And this is the nomenclature related with freshwater pump. One of the most uh, common inconvenience uh, when uh, the design of a freshwater system in marine application is uh, that uh, when you open all the outlets at the same time, the pressure in the system decreases dramatically and the flow of water is less. Uh, in order to avoid that inconvenience, the majority of the manufacturers of a freshwater pump today they uh, design the pumps with a variable speed. What is the meaning of that? That uh, uh, the blades in the, in the impeller are uh, uh, adjustable and uh, the speed, uh, the RPMs of the motors are variable depending on the load. Uh, there are different type of designs, but uh, you need to verify when you select a freshwater pump, try to select the freshwater pump with a variable speed. And uh, the formula is too simple. If you multiply the PSI, the PSI times 2.31, uh, this is the head of the pump. The head is equal to the, P, the pressure times 2.31. The head is equal to the pressure times 2.31. Okay? Don't forget that comes. With that, uh, with that uh, simple formula, you can calculate uh, different, uh, different type of uh, uh, output. For example, my, I have a pump of uh, 3 PSI. I want to know with that pump how much is how much is the maximum distance that the fluid of uh, going out of my pump can reach? Uh, it's simple. It's uh, the pressure times 2.31 is 70 feet. This pump is uh, for uh, two or three outlets. Uh, the maximum pressure is 50 psi, and uh, the capacity of the breaker, uh, the suction of amps is 7.5 amps. The breaker should be 10 amps and uh, this pump is $175 but this is only for three outlets uh, let me check another one for example uh, this one uh, this one is for four outlets uh, 40 psi of pressure and uh, yes uh, uh, da, 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 da. the head is uh, for, uh, four meters four meters is the maximum head uh, the head is, is important right now we are going to talk about the uh, how can I increase the head or how can I increase the flow? And right now I am going to explain the procedure to connect the pumps in order to increase the head or increase uh, uh, the pressure. It's uh, the pump performance curve. Uh, I am going to graphic uh, in the vertical the head in feet and uh, we are going to graphic uh, in the horizontal the flow. The flow in gallons per minute, in gallons per hour and uh, this is the curve uh, of the pump. 
uh, this is a, a pump with a with a with an outlet of uh, five inches in diameter, and uh, this is the curve of the pump. And uh, I have another curve of uh, eight inches in, in diameter, and this is the curve of the pump. And uh, I have another pump with uh, 10 inches in diameter, and this is the curve of the pump. Yeah, uh, uh, we have uh, in the horizontal the flow, and uh, we have uh, in the vertical uh, the, the, uh, the head in feet. Okay, and normally uh, the curve is like this. Uh, more, more, more flow, less head. Simple. Uh, suppose that uh, you have uh, uh, this pump. Uh, this is the, the rotor of uh, one pump. And uh, this is the motor. This is the motor number one. This is the pump number one. And, uh, and you have another pump here. You have another pump here. The impeller is here. And uh, this is the, the tank of, uh, of uh, water. Okay, I am going to, to connect the suction side of the first pump over there. And uh, the output of the first pump, the output of the first pump will be connected with the input of the second pump. And uh, this one, the output of the second pump is basically connected to the supply manifold. Parallel connection. Uh, suppose that I have uh, one of the pump here and uh, other of the pump here uh, that's the motor for that pump AC or DC okay and uh, I, uh, this is uh, the tank and this is the tank of water or any liquid not necessarily water okay I am going to suction the water here and I am going to suction the water here and I am going to create a manifold for the output and I am going to install and right now I have a, an output bigger with a double flow double flow this is the flow for one pound this is the flow and I increase the flow down. Uh, yeah uh, be sure that the uh, both pumps are filled with liquid during the start up, of course, that's the most important part. Uh, parallel connections, uh, both pumps must produce the same head, correct? Uh, two pumps in parallel will deliver less than twice the flow. Yes, I explained because uh, because uh, uh, basically the friction, uh, the friction in between the fluid and the metals uh, produce restriction, produce drag, and uh, the flow is not exactly twice, it's a little less when you connect pumps in parallel. And when you connect pumps in series, the output head is not exactly twice, it's a little less because of the friction. All right, my friends? Sorry.